Hey everyone, Brian Meadows from CorrectiveMechanics.com. I want to talk to you about sciatica and piriformis syndrome. Now sciatica is when you have a herniated disc or some kind of rupture that's pressing on your sciatic nerve that's shooting down from the lower back all the way down below your knee and into your feet. A piriformis syndrome is when your piriformis muscle is is swollen, um, inflamed, if you will, pressing on that same sciatic nerve, but the pain doesn't go all the way to the feet. You may, it may not even experience pain shooting down the leg, but if it does, it only, it pretty much stops at above the knee and it doesn't go any further. And that, again, that's called piriformis syndrome. So that, that is one test to know the difference between the two situations. The uh, first one, the sciatica, is a severe enough situation that you should go see a doctor, get some imaging, and figure out what it is that's causing the problem, and you're going to need some very medical attention to remediate that problem. But piriformis syndrome is something that we can do ourselves using self-myofascial release to help it relieve some of that uh, inflammation and, and have it relax. So that's what we're going to talk about today. The piriformis is a tiny muscle that originates on the anterior surface of the sacrum, travels through the greater sciatic foramen, and attaches to the greater trunk enter of the femur. It accelerates hip external rotation, abduction, and extension. The muscle can be seen here going horizontally from your sacrum to that greater trochanter. All you need to do self-myofascial release for the piriformis is a foam roller. You can pretty much pick these up anywhere at any uh, large uh, box store, convenience store like Walmart or Target, or you you can go to any kind of uh, fitness store, a fitness equipment store like Dick's or, or whatever <laughs> is, is left out there, or you can get them on uh, Amazon order as well. Um, but you, any, anyone that's comfortable for you, if they have softer, harder, nubbed ones like this um, that I like to use. So the two, there's two techniques to do self-myofascial release using the foam roller for your performance. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the piriformis down and we're going to sit right on top of it. And we're going to take the leg that is in question uh, with, or the right side of the buttocks for, is what we're going to focus on. So we're going to say right leg here. So what we're going to do is uh, sit on that. We're going to relax the leg out front. This is technique, the first technique. And we're going to let the toes lean over to, to the right. Again, don't work on the right side. So what I'm trying to do is get a little bit of a turn in my torso and put a little bit more pressure on the side instead of just sitting straight up and down. I want to get, there's like a little bit of a pocket there. So I'm going to lean over a little bit and I'm going to find that, that pressure point. Now, you don't want it to be shooting pain and down your leg or up your back. That means you are actually pushing on a nerve, and we don't want to do that. We want to focus on the muscle. You also don't want it pulsing, boom, 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 and you don't want it to go numb. Um, those are uh, also situations where you're not actually focusing on the muscle. It should just be a localized discomfort there for that muscle. So you're going to find that spot, roll a little bit on that, maybe uh, lean, lean over more or back, uh, less. Find that spot that's the most uncomfortable, that's probably your adhesion there, and then hold for 30 to 40 seconds. Now the second technique that we use is to take that same leg and we're going to put it up and over your other knee. And what that does is it opens up more and it stretches the pir uh, piriformis um, just a little bit, but it opens up that pocket a little bit more. Again, you find the spot. This is, it takes a little more balance to do, but find it, hold it. Or again, 30 to 40 seconds. If you like this video, please go down and leave a comment. Also hit the subscribe button and give it a thumbs up and a like. And then certainly push on the alert bell so that the next time I have a video that comes out, you don't miss any, okay? All right, until then, stay healthy.